now guys, we will have a sample problem regarding sa second law of motion. At yung sample problem na yun is the net force acting on an airplane has a magnitude of 1,900 newton and points in the positive x direction. If the plane has a mass of 860 kilogram, what is its acceleration? So we will solve that problem. So in solving this kind of specific problem, kailangan natin munang malaman kung ano yung unknown quantity which is yung acceleration. Kailangan din natin malaman yung mga known quantity which is yung 1,900 newton at yung 860 kilogram upang malaman natin kung ano yung i-employ natin na formula. So in this particular example, we will employ the second law of motion which is yung x component since ang given sa atin dito ay puro x component at walang nire-relate na y component ang gagamitin natin is yung equation na to which is kung babasahin natin it, it is the summation of all forces in the x component equals to mass multiplied by the acceleration in the x component so, kailangan natin mag-derive na formula dito kasi ang hinahanap natin is acceleration. So, in order to do that, ito yung acceleration, may katabi siya na m. We need to get rid of m para matira yung acceleration para makapag-sagot na tayo at ma-plug natin yung mga values. So, in order to do that, we will divide both sides by m at makakancel na yung m. At finally, ang matitira dun sa ating equation is yung a sub x is equals to summation of f sub x equals m. So, after this, makikita na natin, nakapag-derive na tayo ng formula, ang gagawin na lang natin is to plug in the values. Plug natin yung mga known, which is 1,900 newton over 860 kilogram. So, yung newton, gawin lang natin na kilogram multiplied by mass over s square Bakit? Para makancel natin yung nasa denominator na unit. So, kinancel na natin. At ang matitira na lang sa ating unit ay yung m over s square. At we should take note na yung mga units na to ay equalan din siya sa newton. Binalik lang natin siya dito para tayo ay makapag-cancel ng units. So, i-proceed lang natin to dun sa operation indicated which is yung division at mag arrive tayo ngayon sa acceleration na 2.2 ms square so ito ngayon yung acceleration na hinahanap in this particular problem at papunta to sa positive direction ng x kasi indicated naman to dun sa mismong problem at Yung 2.2 ms square na to is 1 h siya nung acceleration due to gravity. So, ganun lang naman natin to sasagutin kapag naka-encounter tayo ng ganitong problem.